Have a great time. What is good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best MP5 class setup that you can run in both Warzone and Cold War for Season 6. We will today take a look at the base weapon stats of the weapon, compare it to other SMGs to see exactly how it performs, taking a look at time to kill and damage per second, and letting you know my final thoughts on the gun. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So the fire rate of the MP5 is 854 rounds per minute, with shots to the head doing 44 damage to the neck chest stomach 31 and to arms and legs 27 this is from 0 to 9 meters for anything greater than that shots to the head will do 34 damage to the neck chest stomach all doing 24 and to arms and legs 21 so for the example shown below would be if your enemy was fully armored and we were dealing shots to the chest so at number one we do have the org which is actually the fastest killing smg link will be in the description for that class setup if you want to try it and at number two we do have the mp5 but the modern warfare version we are going to be taking a look at this at another date and in first place pretty much exactly the same but we do have the ots and the mp5 from cold war the cold war version of the mp5 has a time to kill of 0.562 seconds and gradually rises as the distance gets greater at 9 meters, the time to kill is 0.588, and for anything greater than 9 meters, it does go to 0.728 and gradually rises. Dealing the most damage per second of the SMGs is the AUG, dealing 455 damage per second. The MP5 from Modern Warfare, dealing 452, and pretty much joint third is the OTS and the MP5 from Cold War, with both dealing 441 damage per second. So with the Cold War version, you are going to see a decrease in your damage dealt per second, up to 9 meters, where it does decrease to 341 damage per second. For the muzzle, go with the Agency Suppressor, for the fact being, we don't want to give away our position when firing our weapon. You'll also get sound suppression, so you won't be heard as much, you'll get assistance with vertical recoil control of the weapon making it much easier to control bullet velocity meaning your bullets are going to be traveling even faster to ensure we get those hit detections registered much quicker and also your mp5 is going to be more effective at range now for the laser go with the tiger team spotlight this is going to increase our movement speed and our aim walking movement speed so this is always a good thing to have on an smg it's going to allow you to have quick movement quick maneuvers so if someone's camping in a room or something you're going to be able to perform much better for the stock go with the raider stock this is going to increase your ads firing movement speed so when you are aiming down sight you're going to be able to move much quicker your aim walking movement speed as well is going to be increased but most importantly you're going to have sprint to fire time which is going to allow you to be more aggressive and push enemies for the underbarrel, go with the bruiser grip. You're going to get increased movement speed. So when you are using this gun, you are going to have quick mobility and you're going to be able to get in and out of situations fairly quickly. Also using this attachment, you're going to get increased hip fire accuracy. And last but not least for the ammunition, I would go with the Stanag 50 round drum. So you are impacted with your ADS and reloading time. However, the 40 round drum I did try, it just wasn't enough. Go with enough ammo in the chamber. There is nothing worse than getting caught out when you're having to reload and the other person shoots you take the safe option i believe the mp5 the cold war version is a very good gun to use during season six and so far i do have to say it's one of the better smgs that i have used so far the gun with the current attachments did give very good mobility and allowed much faster movement which is always positive if you do like to be aggressive at a distance as well i did find it fairly decent for an smg there's not too much recoil either and it was fairly easy to control if you're not too bothered in regards to long distance shooting and you're going to be more up close and personal, I would remove the agency suppressor for the sound suppressor. It will still keep you off the minimap, but also it's going to give you a faster sprint to fire time, so you're going to be able to be more aggressive. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section how this class setup works for you. I hope you're all well and keeping safe. Take care, stay safe, and until next time, peace.